Nina Casca, I'm Sumeya Verdi and Sarah de Villiers and our practice is called Counter Space and we're from Johannesburg. When we formed Counter Space as a studio, we just really wanted to keep the thought that we had when we were studying. So like the creativity and the energy that we had together when we were studying, we wanted to keep that going and not get too jaded by normal everyday practice. We did an exhibition early on in the year and it was all about bringing architecture and these stories and the built environment and making it accessible to just the everyday person and a lot of that deals with film and storytelling and how do we get that across and make it accessible to everyone. We looked at the mine dumps in Johannesburg and we started off with a zoomed a zoomed out version looking at how they formed the Johannesburg landscape and then we did sort of a reversal of the lens where we went really deep into the mine dumps and just from our walks on the mine dumps the fragments that we picked up and researched and then the legends stories and real facts that these uncovered about the spaces. You know they are kind of forgotten spaces now in Johannesburg and I'm sure they similar things happen um, elsewhere in the world um, where there are these old industrial spaces which are now derelict and but still form a very interesting part and a very prominent part of the city structure mm. um, but because now they they kind of empty and no one knows no one's really claiming them as as land that they own um, mm. People use them for, as, as Samir was saying, for strange uses, for example, religious practices or, um, you know, minus Zamazamas coming back to try and get, you know, another, another stab at, at finding gold or, um, you know, there's people sometimes living on these mines and they, they kind of attract these strange imaginaries, these almost urban legends or secrets, um, which we, we've tried to reveal a little bit with these snippets of fragments that we found there, um, little colours, parts of chemicals that, that, are, that are found on the site, um, stone pieces, and they really are meant to make you kind of piece the story together in your own imagination, um, and they really can be either projections of the past or the future, um, and there's this kind of nostalgia for the future in, in a sense through, that comes through, that's intended to come through in our work.